bird's nest and this old telescope and said, I don't really know uh, how to, you know, how I'm going to use this thing, but this looks really neat. So um, it's always been a dream. I still have kids in their 20s that are saying, hey, did you ever fix that thing? And now I could finally say yes. And there's been a lot of people involved that made this a reality. Um, the most important being uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Timothy Day. Just a random email came across my computer and he wanted to fix it up. He's a Lincoln Park resident and he and his, the members of his uh, astronomy club, they know what they're doing because I have a lot to learn from them. So it was a really good uh, uh, marriage of minds and, and, uh, and, and they're going to be helping us out for years to come, keep, keeping this telescope nice and in use. Um, so, it, and we're glad you guys get to check it out. So in a little bit you get to look at it. We're going to do an official ribbon care, uh, cutting ceremony. Some other notables, I don't know if you guys know, this is your Lincoln Park uh, superintendent. This is Mr. Uh, Randall Kite. Uh, we've got jo uh, Joseph Griggs and his crew were, were helpful in all the, the construction. And uh, Mr. Karoti here is, uh, is uh, 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 the most helpful member, one of the most helpful members from the uh, Florida Amateur Astronomy Club. So now that I got your attention, I'll let Mr. Uh, uh, Day uh, say his piece. And, yeah. and what, our what? mayor is here too now, also. And Mayor Vazlaw was here as well. I want to say thank you and thank you to the city for their help with this as well. Maybe you have any, uh... <laughs> 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 Got my own little carry from there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over on the side. Thank you. When I was your age, I used to love astronomy. Just like some kids love baseball or dinosaurs, I knew the names of all the astronauts when they were landing on the moon. And I could tell you all the details and facts, and I've never changed. My whole life, I've always been that excited about it. And I remember driving by this 10 years ago and saying, there must be some big telescope inside of there. It must be really cool. And we opened it up and saw that it needed some repairs and stuff. And so with Mr. McMaster, we got together and we raised some money and got a brand new telescope. And I want you guys to get to use it. Every great scientist who makes great discoveries, they start out your age and they get excited by looking up and seeing the stars and seeing things that are so cool. And that's where they begin. And so this is for you. This is for you to get excited about, for you to come and play with. You'll be able to see the pictures from this in the classrooms, on the computers. You'll be able to come out at night for special observing sessions. Have fun with it. <laughs> if you're not excited about science, you have to be after listening to Dr. Day. <laughs> I talked to him for about 10 minutes when we were reviewing this just a few minutes ago, and I'm thinking about coming back to school and studying science. <laughs> we do, on a serious side, want to thank Dr. Day for his vision. We want to thank Mr. McMaster for writing the grant that got us $15,000 for a lot of the material. Ford Astronomy Club has been great with the work that they provided, along with Joe Griggs, who is a Lincoln Parker, who has many construction contacts that has made this new building, it's not a new building, that has reconstructed this building. My understanding is this telescope has no counterpart in the whole Detroit area, including Cranbrook Institute. So Lincoln Park students owe Dr. Day and all these people a sincere thanks. Let's give it. <laughs> also, let me introduce, uh, while I may, we have three school board members here that have helped make this possible and allow this to be. We have Mr. Charles Higgins, Mr. Gordon Gilbert, and Mrs. Mary Corson. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's make, let's make it official. The Hector J. Robinson Observatory in the International Year of Astronomy 2009 is now officially open. Yay! I remember as a young boy, first of all, let me tell you a story. I came down with West Nile, so I lost my long-term and short-term memory, slowly coming back. But this mirror reminds me when I was a young boy mm -hmm. at Hoff, mm -hmm. that all the students would take turns cutting the mirror. Mm -hmm. 
we did it every day in class, every, every day that we had class. Right. And then I never knew anything more about it. Right. And through time, I grew up, became an old man, and now I'm retired. Mm -hmm. And I'm a historical renovator. And when I heard about this project, I remembered the mirror. Mm -hmm. So it's helping me recover. So uh -huh. I brought my, my group over here, uh, uh -huh. my company, uh -huh. which is all people that are training. Uh, most of them are volunteers. They work for free to help me out with this uh -huh. to make this project worthwhile. Uh -huh. But holding this mirror brings back so many memories that have been so long gone. Huh. I'm hoping that it helps you remember everything else, but little by little. That's it. The recovery is going to be two more years. Uh -huh. now has left me partially paralyzed. Wow. And um, I'm still dealing with all, all the other problems. But the nice mm -hmm. thing about it, this is part of the memory that I want everyone to know. That dreaming is the most important, most important part of your life. And when you look in the stars, you dream a lot. Yeah. I want the children to do the same as I did when I was a young boy. Thank you. Excellent.